Will we want? 10%. When do we want it? Now. In a torrential rainstorm just after dawn, the picket line took shape. As an insight into how determined and desperate these workers are, the willingness to stand and protest in these conditions speaks volumes. UK price inflation is 10.7%. The government is offering these workers a pay rise of just two. We are marginally above the national minimum wage, marginally, just a hair's whisker. I don't think people really appreciate just how far low we've fallen. Instead of staffing these passport control desks at airport arrivals, 1,000 Border Force officers have begun an eight-day walkout over pay, pensions and redundancy terms. Six airports and one seaport are affected. The Border Force strike will affect nearly 9,000 inbound flights, carrying an estimated 1.7 million passengers. The worst affected will be London Heathrow, with more than 900,000 passengers expected to be delayed during the strike days. But the impact will be felt nationwide. At Manchester Airport, more than a quarter of a million passengers will be affected. Using military personnel to staff the passport control desks appears to have minimised the disruption so far. On social media, some passengers reported no queues, quicker than usual, and passing through border control in the quickest time in 10 years. But there's a growing wave of industrial unrest across several different groups of public sector workers, while the UK government is refusing to enter negotiations with the unions. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has expressed disappointment at the strikes, but insists pay rises would only fuel further inflation. It's a, you know, it's a difficult question of setting public sector pay. The government has acted fairly and reasonably in accepting all the recommendations of the public sector pay review bodies. Now, it's an independent process that government has listened to. You know, I'd urge everybody who's travelling at the moment to just please check before you make your journey so you know what's happening. Public sentiment, public support for the strikers could be crucial in the days and weeks ahead. At the moment, it seems public support is with the strikers. By a small margin, more people blame the government for the ongoing disputes than the unions. Additional public sector strike days have been announced for January. This is turning into a battle of attrition. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera, Heathrow.